All right, guys, today we are looking at this, the deluxe edition of All-Star Superman. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Uh, now, on this channel, we do comic book unboxings, reviews, overviews, haul videos, everything in between. So if you love comics the way I love comics, you got to hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. That way you're notified when new videos go live. Hey, I know you saw the video. I know you saw the title. I know you see Superman in the background. I had to make sure I'm still repping the home team. It's still Team Batman out here. But, but last year I asked you guys for Superman stories that you would recommend to someone who either doesn't like, doesn't understand, doesn't get Superman and the whole mythos behind him. And one of the most popular answers was Grant Morrison's All-Star Superman. Um, and so I bought it. I bought the series last year. I bought it in these two standard size hardcovers. Uh, mine were former library copies, so they're kind of beat up. I think there was one page with like a literal hole in it. Um, yeah. And so when I found out that DC was putting out this deluxe oversized hardcover, I was like, all right, I'm down. Let me grab one. Uh, so before we go any further, let me give a quick shout out to Ultimate Comics Raleigh uh, for sending, or this is where I got this book from. Got it from Ultimate Comics Raleigh. It was sitting right there in my LCS. So I grabbed it. Ultimate Comics has four locations in the Raleigh-Durham area. Raleigh, Durham, carry and a second Raleigh location inside the Crabtree Valley Mall. So they're the best place to go if you're in this area for weekly new comic books, collected editions, Funko Pops, statues, toys, all the etc. Um, now, if you're not local to the Raleigh area, no worries. You can shop twice a week on their Facebook live show. That way you can buy the new comics and uh, sort through a freaking whole warehouse of back issues. They got new stuff and old stuff <laughs> going up every single week. Um, and if that's not enough for you, you can get their exclusive variants and other incentives at their website at ultimatecomics.com. So thanks to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring the channel. Um, now we're going to go ahead and get inside this hardcover. Um, I'm really excited to show it to you. So let's, uh, let's switch up the camera view so we can get in here. All right, guys. Uh, so we are taking a look at the all-star Superman Deluxe Edition. Now, this is written by Grant. <laughs> Grant. This is written by Grant Morrison with artwork by Frank Quietly, and there's uh, colors by Jamie Grant. So, this is, um, you know, like I said, what I'm told is one of the definitive Superman stories. Um, I bought this book previously in these standard size hardcovers, and like I said, this is the deluxe edition. So, what you should be able to see is that there's a pretty big size difference between these two. So if you love this story, then this is definitely going to be a format you want it in. Now, this was also previously made available in an absolute edition, which I believe is still in stock most places, um, including uh, organicpricebooks.com. Um, but, you know, this is the newest printing. This is going to be the most readily available copy. Um, and so for those of us who don't need crazy oversized format, but still like the deluxe format. I think this is great. Now, before we even get inside the book, let me go ahead and show you uh, something I thought was really cool. And the reason I honestly picked this up, having not still not read the story, um, this book has a retail price of thirty four ninety nine. And typically with a DC deluxe edition, you'll see that retail price usually closer to $50. So the fact that you can get this oversized story, it's a 12 issue series for just 35 bucks retail. I thought that was a steal. So much of a steal that I didn't mind paying full retail at my LCS for it. I think that's a great price for this collection. Uh, so anyway, now that we've, you know, waxed poetic about the prices, let's go ahead and get inside this book. First, I'm gonna slip off this dust jacket and show you guys what it looks like under. All right, so under the dust jacket, you can see it. Uh, we've got this Superman image by Frank Quietly. Uh, that was also the image that I just happened to have previewed during the intro. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Looks like this does have sewn binding. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of flip through it a little bit because it's not an omnibus. Like I don't feel like I need to do this whole stretching process, but I'm so used to doing it. Um, and I want to relax that spine anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll get into an overview of this artwork. All right, cool. So that's done. Now, before we look inside the book, um, look what we can see on this dust jacket. We've got bios for Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely. Uh, what I love about Frank Quitely ever since I've learned this is that Frank Quitely is not his name. Uh, it's just a play on the phrase, quite frankly. And I just thought that was an awesome comic book origin story. Um, and let's see. So this collects the original 12 issue series and a gallery of behind the scenes extras. So that's really, really cool. Really, really cool. So I am going to go ahead and flip through this artwork and give you a little bit of an overview of what the story is about. So All-Star Superman, like I said, it's been sold as like one of the definitive Superman stories. Some say the greatest Superman story of all time. Um, and basically, what's it about? Well, Superman was dying and we've got an intro here let's see who wrote this intro chip kid who is um oh he does a whole bunch of graphic design and stuff for dc books he does a lot of collections he did a batman animated collection which was really dope but he does like compilations of comic book artwork so all right so yeah i mean this font is a little bit thinner so i feel like the camera's not picking it up as well as it could but hey whatever uh so anyway the story basically superman gets a little bit flies a little bit too close to the sun icarus um and because of that he gets sun poisoning or something and basically finds out later on that he is dying uh, and so what would superman do if he's dying the ultimate symbol of hope and freedom in the world if this guy is dying then that means the planet is hopeless right and so superman then spends the next you know basically the rest of his time doing as much as he can to save the world and inspire the world while trying so you get these 12 issues of him just doing everything everything um first he's got to tell lois what's going on and then he's just gonna be the best superman he can be uh, and so he's just living out all his superman fantasies he turns lois into a superman or into like gives her like kryptonian powers and i guess at this point i'm getting into spoilers so i don't i guess i'll stop the spoiler talk but it's just what does superman do when he knows that time is running out and so what I always love about Superman, um, I say always, I've never been the biggest Superman fan, but as I've explored more of his mythos in the last year, I've come to decide like, okay, well, my favorite aspect of Superman, of the character, of the mythos is the Superman family. I think that's what makes him unique among other heroes. Um, his motivations are like incredibly pure, right? He wants to inspire the world and what better reason to be a superhero um, because of that North Star. He always wants to make the right decision. Um, he never wants to let people down. He always wants to do the right thing. Cool. Cool. I love that. But what I think is really underrated about Superman is his family how much he cares about his family and friends lois and jimmy olsen and perry white and ma and pa kent um and in this story you know as you might imagine if you find out you're gonna die of course you're gonna tell your family and give them as much warning as possible so you get all sorts of sweet moments about or from superman and his family i love this like fake mcdonald's here that's hilarious um, now, as far as the artwork, like I said, the art is done by Frank Quitely, um, who has worked with Grant Morrison a ton. Um, he worked with Grant Morrison on the Batman and Robin run featuring Dick Grayson as Batman. Uh, he worked with Grant Morrison on New X-Men. 
Uh, they're frequent collaborators. We Three, uh, which is where this colorist comes from as well. JLA Earth Two. Obviously, Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely are, you know, a match made in heaven. Um, and to be honest, Grant Morris or excuse me, Frank Quitely's artwork isn't always my bag. Um, I tend to like things with more tightened up pencils and, you know, um, a little bit more. I don't know. I guess the best way to describe my art taste is a cross between like the image extreme era and like more maybe anime. Like I, I like I don't need the figures to be incredibly hulking and huge, but I do love where there's great line work and I love um, good blocking and shadows and whatever. But with Frank Quitely, you can see his style is kind of sparse, right? And then the ink lines are a little bit more frenetic. Um, but I will say, just thumbing through this artwork, it really does convey like the right emotions. I feel like it feels warm in combination with the coloring. Um, I think it really accomplishes its goal. Um, and having Frank Quitely do the entire series, I think is a win. Because if you mix this art with really anyone else, I don't think it hits as hard. I think it's jarring. But because we get Frank Quitely being able to do storytelling from start to finish, this works really well. And I'm not mad at it at all. Uh, so yeah, we get the full 12 issue series in one great book, which is awesome. And then we get a bunch of extras so you can see like different cover layouts uh, different stages of that cover nice drawing here this is one of those classic images that you see in relation to this book all the time and apparently the title all-star superman was dan didio's idea which is very cool i remember they did all-star superman and then they did all-star batman and robin the boy wonder and all-Star Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder does not pass the age test, but this one does. People love this series. This is like the one of the most beloved Superman stories of all time. So we get character designs, we get character studies, we get Clark Kent character studies. I love all of the, the narration here. You get Frank Quitely really detailing his approach to these characters and I think that's one of the most underrated aspects of deluxe editions and omnibus is the insight that you get into the making of uh, whatever book and series that you're looking at I think that's super dope so if you're a fan of Frank Quitely definitely grab this if you're a fan of Grant Morrison grab this if you're a fan of Superman it's honestly a no-brainer a no-brainer um, and that's the book so before we go, let me give you a full shot at the hardcover artboard. Love that. Honestly, this is very well put together. It's very well put together. Uh, the binding is great. The quality of the printing is great. I didn't have any sort of issues with pages sticking together or color rub or anything like that. This is honestly very, very well done. Um, the only... <laughs> I mean, this is like certainly nitpicking at this point. Uh, but I told you guys, my previous copy was a library copy. And it's hilarious because on this deluxe edition, the dust jacket, because of this little color blocking right here, reminds me of a library book. Um, also, gotta love Superman in the Jesus, Mas Mas in the messianic pose, the messiah pose. That's funny. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's the only nitpick I have here is like, but I think you need that to, to, to focus your eyes on who it is. So nice graphic design, nice collection, nice story. 
And before I go, one more shout out to my LCS Ultimate Comics Rally uh, for selling me this book. They typically don't sell their collected editions online, uh, but you can go on their website and get exclusive variant covers um, and all sorts of stuff. So check them out at ultimatecomics.com or you can shop on the Ultimate Comics live show twice a week. Uh, so thanks to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring this video. And that was All-Star Superman. Have you read this book? Did you like it? Why does this rank among the best Superman stories of all time? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you stay tuned for preview or for upcoming overviews and reviews because I'm definitely going to read this sooner than later and give you my full unfiltered thoughts. Uh, but until then, I hope you saw something you liked in this video. If not, that's cool because you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.